Alrighty, so I'm out here in Big Lagoon in Denham. Um, it's a really nice spot as you can see. So this is going to be my playground for today. I just got my hands on an 11 metre kappa and I've heard really good things about this kite. I'm super keen to try it out. Um, for starters, I'm going to go out on the free foil because it's only about 15 knots here. And then once the wind builds to a sea breeze, I'm going to take it out for a twin tip session. So I've also got the foiling bar here as well, which I think is a really good setup for if you're really into foiling. It's got a super long throw, so you don't have to worry about being too overpowered. You can dump it pretty quickly. And up here, um, they already come set with 24 meter lines on them, but you do have the options to take the five meter extensions off to put them to 19 meters. You gotta love a nice and crispy kite. Uh, I got my lines laid out here, so let's put it down and unfold it. So here's the capper here. One of the first things that I noticed was these little loops that your bridles can attach onto right next to like the dump valve. Um, I reckon that's a really good idea because there's nothing worse than having to, you know, figure out all of these these bridles you can just pull them and then off you go alrighty so I'm hooked in and ready to give it a launch I've heard that the uh, cappers feel really easily so hope they do because there's people around Jeez, that felt really good. That feels really stable in this wind as well. So the first thing I notice about flying this kite is it doesn't really want to front soar. It just sits above your head. It doesn't sit too far above either. Um, even when I'm walking towards the kite or picking up the pace with the bar fully in or out, it doesn't want to doesn't want to front soar like a couple of the other kites do. Um, it's just really consistent. It's got a nice consistent pull as well. Yeah, let's see how it goes out on the water. The cool thing about this kite is it feels really consistent to me. Like, it doesn't really feel like the gusts are just going to come and take it because kiting in here, it is pretty gusty. It's just like a little channel. Um, the sea breeze hasn't fully picked up yet. thing that I've just noticed that only I would be able to manage to do was I actually set the bar up backwards. So oh yeah. Yeah, how's, how's this for a playground? The wind kind of is kicking up a little bit so I might just go for a bit of a twin tip session. I've uh, got to know what the kite feels like on the foil and I reckon it's sick. Um, I'm really keen to try it out on my Daytona and Indy setup because that's what I'm, I'm usually on. I'm just on a free ride setup at the moment. So, yeah, I'll take my, my twin tip out and I'll see how it goes.
I did find is the kite here it has a lot of hang time so I found this kind of cliff that I wanted to look at and um, did a couple of jumps off it and just had a bit of a play around and yeah the kite definitely has a lot of hang time it um it's got a nice fat profile so I think that's really good for um, just the stability of the kite I found that it had how when you definitely needed it. Um, I did have one little crash in the water. I was able to relaunch it fine. And um, I have heard a couple of people talking about how small that the drainage valves are, or the dump valves. But I found that it got rid of the water quick enough and um, yeah, didn't have any problems with it. So I would definitely recommend this guy for for anyone wanting to kind of get their first foil kite or even a kite to tip on. Um, I'm going to try it out when I'm back in Perth with the 19 metre lines and my Daytona and Indy setup, and I think that'll be fast. I actually just decided to stop it. I'm going to go out for a 2.0 session because the wind's picking up a little bit. I was getting a little bit cold but um yeah I basically just wanted to say probably spent five hours kiting today um I only did about an hour filming and all five were on the kappa and yeah it's just such an unbelievable kite like I definitely reckon the the lads at Duotone have kind of hit the nail on the head with it and uh made a kite that is really high performance but also it's so friendly um yeah, like when jumping off that cliff that I was trying before, um, I found I was a little too in my comfort zone, so not sure if that's a really good or bad thing with this kite. I just jumped on it and treated it like a normal kite. I do just want to put it out there also that this actually isn't my kappa. Um, it's one of my good mates, so when I get back to Perth, I think mine will arrive and um, I'll make another video where I can push it really far because I didn't want to do too much to, you know, a kite that's not mine. So as soon as it gets back to Perth, I'm going to absolutely test it on the Daytona and Indy setup. Um, so really fast board, really stable, just love everything about it. So I think if I combine it with this kite, I'll be able to do some pretty sweet things. Peace. <laughs> 